Hello, it's Bud. This is the fourth in a series on Pattern Editor. Um, yesterday, a member posted on the forum that he was having a problem importing an image into Pattern Editor, and he was trying a different way than I'd seen before but we talked about it on the forum and I thought it was good enough to uh, at least put out there in video form so that we can see what's going on. First off what we'll do is we'll go to Designer and instead of doing an import here what we're going to do is we're going to launch Pattern Editor which is what he was trying to do and then we are going to open and that brings us to a screen that looks similar to this. Uh, I had to paste a couple pictures together to get this because of the largeness of this screen. But as you can see it says open pattern and it normally takes either an MPW or a PGN. But what he wants to do is bring in an image of a JPG or a, a, um, a GIF or a TIFF, something of that nature. So what you do is you come down to the file name and we use uh, a DOS prompt, uh, an old DOS prompt of three asterisks. and then you hit enter and from there you open pattern editor um, you open the image in pattern editor so if we come back over here and I do that asterisk which you can't see because of the largeness of my screen it opens the files that I navigated to on the forum. And I'm just going to run this up here so that we can see now that I have photographs that weren't available to me under the normal uh, options as far as the extensions. So if I double click on the photograph, bring this back down, I have that image which happens to be copyrighted so I can't sell it to anybody really should give it to anybody but I can use it for my own purposes and that's what I'm doing right here I'm going to enlarge this thing because I want to give you some other tips what I wanted to do was show you that this is how we can bring an image into pattern editor Um, but when I look at my image I see that the ridges on this baseball scene are going to be very very high so I'm going to take some liberties right here I'm going to do the option of the magic wand and do a lower and I'm going to click on this blue line here if I can get there now let me change this, I don't want lower, I want upper there now there's a lot of things that are available to me via the dancing ants but what I want to do is this green area has a depth of 0 0.001 and this blue area any one of it is the height of the whole pattern which is 250 so what I want to do is I want to go to my paintbrush and I'm going to change this height 
to like, um, well, let's try a 50 to start with. And then I'm going to make my paintbrush a little bit bigger. And I'm going to come in here on the seams. Hold on just a minute. I'll be right back. Pierce may be my highest intake. Let me trace that again. Okay, I just ran the cursor down with the uh, with the elevators, and it took care of it here. So I'm going to paint this green line or this blue line, and I'll come up here into the stitching. I didn't have to do the circle, but I, I just wanted to get something that, did something close to what I wanted. And for right now, we're going to leave that that way. Uh, so I'll just going to click here and get out of it. There. And that was just to show you how I can change just that part. Uh, and this was a GIF rather than a uh, JPEG when it started out. But that in a nutshell is how we can import an image by launching Pattern Editor and then opening the pattern, putting the asterisk down here and hitting Enter. And that brings us back to Pattern Editor screens where we can do our editing uh, and go from there. And I hope that helps. Talk to you later.